So guys, it's Dave Baffin on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a transfer talk video with Newcastle United. I'm going to talk about the players who have signed for the club, the players who could potentially move into the club, and players who could be leaving the club. So leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into the video. So it's the end of July at the minute, and I'm going to talk about transfers that joined round the start. Starting off, Kennedy. He signed on a loan from Chelsea, absolutely delighted, came to us last season, scored three goals. I'm so happy he's joined the club and have a full season with the NUFC. Good stuff. But also on the same day, Mick Marino. He moved to Real Sociedad, only having one season at the club. For me, I would love to see him in the squad. Kaysen Young obviously coming in. Came before Marino uh, left, and now he's joined Real Sociedad and looks a lot, bit a lot more happy. And now going on to Jack Colback, who signed for Nottingham Forest on a season on loan. Jack Colback's only got 12 months left on his contract, so most likely um, Forest will sign him on a free. Hopefully, because no one likes Jack Colback as a Newcastle fan. But yeah, he's had his time here. He had a decent first season. And since then, he just hasn't really played much. But Jack Colbert, good luck to you. But yeah, he's signed for Nottingham Forest on a season on loan. And next up, Chancellor Mbemba joined FC Porto. And we play Porto on Saturday. This video should be out on Saturday as well, so is he going to play? But the question is definitely not. He got rushed to hospital in a wheelchair after a knee injury. I feel sorry for the lad. He didn't have his time at Newcastle. He didn't get the chance at Newcastle because Rafa Benitez didn't give him the chance. And then now he's joined FC Porto and got injured already. A lot of players get injured recently. Alisson for Liverpool got injured. So does, that, does that mean Carries has to play? Oh God. But Mbemba, good luck to you. And hopefully injury isn't too bad. Um, and I hope you do come and do well for Porto. Next up is Fabian Scar, who signed for Newcastle yesterday. What a player he's been recently. Went to the World Cup, done really good. He went to, he played for the Swiss um, Olympic side and he said he loves St. James Park. He scored a goal in the Euros, I can remember. And he's going to be wearing the number five next season. And he's a decent player. He does get a lot of yellow cards. So he played all the group stages for Switzerland, but then he couldn't play the round of 16 because he got that many yellow cards. And... He got 10 yellow cards last season. Is he going to really be the replacement for Mbemba? I don't know because Florian Lejeune's knee injury could be a lot worse than Newcastle fans thought. And Kevin Clark and Scarno has to compete. And I think he will come to the side. He's a, he's a new player. Let's see new faces. But yes, let's get on to the next player. And finally, Matt Sells joined a French side. Best of luck to him because he just didn't get any games in Newcastle. Only having 14 games for the tune. Made a lot of mistakes. He isn't a Premier League player. And I hope the best that he does do something from, extra, from being extraordinary. He is a good player. He, has, he can do some good sh um, shot stops, but wasn't a bit in Newcastle and didn't have his chance. And yeah, some rumours that you could see on my new page, 1882 News, go and follow it. I always have it in the description, it's my NUFC Instagram page, go and follow it. But Muto is apparently coming to Tyneside after a 9.5 million bid has been accepted. Which is fantastic because he's a striker. He's a fast paced striker, he holds the ball up well. He's basically Hosselu and Gale combined it but better. He is a good striker, he played well in the World Cup, I thought, for Japan, getting all the way to the quarterfinals, I think, semi-finals, quarterfinals, I don't, I don't know, he done do really good with them, and I hope that he's the same, obviously. Rondon as well, might be still swapping Gale for Rondon, and Rondon coming to us, and Gale going to West Brom. I think Gale said a statement that he's settling into Newcastle very well, and all the families coming up, and then say if he gets moved out to West Brom, and we get Rondon, it'll be better for us, but for him, it'll be absolutely, it'll be devastating, because 
he had a great championship season and going to the Premier League didn't get his ch um, well he did get his chance he just didn't hit his potential like he should have. Other players Joe Bryan from Bristol City six million. Bailey was planning to get him prepared we've heard nothing else but a sign. I did pack him team this season so that could be a sign. And obviously as you can see got the brand new kit on which looks absolutely outstanding. If you want to go and watch my vlog it'll be on the end of the video or in uh, my most recent video on the channel apart from this one obviously. But anyways everyone if you did enjoy the video please leave a like or a comment, subscribe if you're new and I'll check you guys in the next video. Goodbye.